and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today is Tuesday, October 8th. So, guys, I'm very hyped right now. Because if all goes right with these rewards, which it should, today is the day that I get Saquads. I get my the best running back in the NFL. I finally get my favorite player in the NFL on my Madden Ultimate Team. I've been waiting for the day where I get to finally power up this beast right here. One second. Almost there. Right here. Saquon Barkley. I think today's the day we get him, boys. Today is Tuesday, which means we're getting house rules. We have gotten house rules. Since they've announced it, we've gotten house rules every other Tuesday for the last few weeks. Now, it was pretty much confirmed on stream that we will be getting the house rules today, which I will go over in a few minutes. That will be a free fantasy pack mutt hero reward that we could choose any of the 32 players. And which means we can take anyone early, even if they're unreleased, such as Jalen Ramsey or Saquon Barkley. And for me, I got to go Saquon first. I can wait for Ramsey for the solo challenges. I got to get Barkley now. I cannot wait to see this card out right here. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. He's in game, obviously. You just have to wait till he comes out. Now, if they do release him, if they do, do, if they do give us the fantasy pack that I hope, I will be able to finally acquire him. I'm super hyped for that, guys. Today's a house rule day. I'm hoping it's nothing ridiculously hard or ridiculously tedious. And if it's not, guys, hopefully I can get this done for you guys by today and give you guys my reward video by tomorrow. Now, guys, house rules should be out any second now. And honestly, I hope it's easy. I hope it's enjoyable. And I hope we get a free play. If we get some sidekicks, I'll be pissed. But most likely, from what I heard, is we will be getting a free Nat Mud Hero Fantasy Pack from this, guys. Now, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. I get you guys with the best content daily that I can get to you guys for me as, my, as a newer content creator. If you guys are enjoying the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Join the family. We're almost at 10K. Get in on the 10K squad before it's over. There's 500 slots left, boys. Comment down below what you guys think the rewards will be. And if it is the free hero, comment who you're going to be taking. I think Saquon's my choice first, and then Jalen will be my second choice. Although Jalen's probably better than Saquon, I need that Saquon now. So comment down below who you're taking, guys. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 250 likes, boys. Now, we've already done quite a few house rule type objective games. I really want to know what they're going to do. I kind of hope it's a tug of war. I find tug of war game modes really fun to actually play. And it kind of it, when things are fun, it passes the time. When it's a stupid objective, it does not. I don't really like playing stock and all those. I hope it's just a tug of war, some fun overtime game, or something we can do quickly and just sit down and grind, boys. But we're about to go wait for the Mud Heroes to, uh, not the Mud Heroes, the House Rules to drop so I can show you guys all the rewards of that. So stay tuned for all that, boys. And hopefully it's really good. Cross your fingers. Hopefully we get what we want. EA has screwed us before, but I think today they might give us what we want, boys. So let's wait for the Mud Heroes to come out, or should I say the House Rules? I keep thinking it's going to be Mud Heroes. Okay, guys, so the house rules is finally out, guys. I'm really hyped. It's called Point Yoink. That doesn't sound too fun. Our house rules, our rules. House rules are limited time events that challenge the way you play. Head in to see current rules and rewards. If you guys don't know what house rules is, it is a every other week event on Tuesdays that typically is an objective-based event such as overtime rules, college rules, stock play, uh, tug of war, and it typically gives us great rewards. They have had a few dud weeks, but for the most part, we've gotten free themed diamonds, free base elites, free mutt superstars. Now we're hoping for a free mutt hero, guys. I'm praying it is a free mutt hero. Yes, it is. If you want points, you'll have to snatch them. You'll take three points, interceptions, fumbles, one point on 10 yard passes. Watch out. Rushing and completions give a point back to your opponent. Start racking up wins, earning that hero fantasy pack. So let's go over to see what the complete objective is and what the rewards are and how many wins. Please be 10 wins. Don't be something crazy. Go to Seasons. Go to the new House Rules Point Yoink. They got the cool House Rules card art on that. Oh, wait. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so Point Yoink. Switch it up with House Rules. Get as many wins as possible in that Fantasy Hero Pack. So, it's 72 hours. So, we do get three days. They usually give us 24, 48 hours, but they did make it 72, which I do appreciate. Because even me, as a full-time content creator, even with school and life, I still find it struggle as a struggle sometimes to get enough time. I have to grind like four to five hours to get this done usually. And I know for a lot of the dads out there and the hardworking guys, they're busy with kids and family. And it's much it's a lot harder for you guys to get it done within two days. Definitely takes a lot of your time. So 72 hours is perfect. You could really segment it into three days and get it all done. A little bit at night, a little bit in the mornings, a little bit at lunchtime. Get what you need to get done. Now take three points on interception or fumble. Take one point on a 10-yard pass. Give one on a rush or an incomplete pass. So every rush you lose a point so that means that you probably don't want to be running it too much this week but that also means guys might sit in heavy uh, pass protection wow 
people are going to be sitting in heavy pass protection. So like if you see a wide open lane, maybe you want to take the rush and give them a point because you know they're going to give it to you. But again, I don't know if I'd recommend that. And an incomplete pass, you also want to be, you have to be a perfect passer. You're going to see a lot of, a lot of under routes this week and a lot of that going on. You're going to see tons of slants, tons of drags, tons of glitchy routes. You're not going to see any normal offense this week. This is going to be the week of the cheese. It's kind of unreal because take three points and interception or fumble. That's good. So that means any big defensive play you make will give you three points. Any big passing play you make will give you 10 points. So a lot of drags is five yard drags cut up the field, easy 10 yards most of the time. So you're going to see a lot of under coverage. So you might want to even take people deep. The only issue with taking deep, pretty much what they did, I kind of like how they neutralize a lot of things. So you're going to want to do drags, right? To get your 10 yards and get your um, easy non-incompletions. But the issue is when you do that, people are going to be leaving you open deep so you're going to want to go deep with it to counteract people covering low but when you go deep if you have an incomplete pass you're giving up one point so 10 incomplete passes is 10 points so playing stout pass coverage this week your secondary is key your secondary is really freaking key this week let's see how many wins total we need i did not check that let's see if it's in the objective so we know let's go over to house rules 10 wins one win is 5,000 trophies Five wins is 10,000 trophies. 10 wins is 10,000 uh, 10, coins, not 10,000 trophies. 20 trophies, 10,000 coins. 10 wins is 20 trophies, 10,000 uh, 10, coins. 15 wins is Dark Mutt Heroes Unis. 20 wins is 30 trophies, 15,000 coins. 25 wins is 30 trophies, 15,000 coins. So if you get, and the, the Mutt Hero Fantasy Pack is going to be 35 wins. That's kind of a lot. Hopefully these games are shorter games. Now, Let's see what the rest are. 50, 000, uh, 50, 40 wins is 50 trophies, 25,000 coins. 50 wins is 50 trophies, 25,000 coins. 60 wins is 50 trophies, 25,000 coins, and so on and so forth. So if you were to complete them all, you get 50, 100, 150, 200, 230, 260, 280, 300. You get 310 total trophies, and the coins would be about 100K there, 130K, 150K, 155K, and about 310 total trophies if you were to do everything. Now, most people probably won't get past 35 wins. 35 wins is kind of a lot. That's kind of a stretch right there to get 35 total wins. It's a lot of games. Now, I don't know when these games start. That's the issue. If they start from the beginning of the games, I don't really know. You could probably get a lot of rage quits because with this game mode, right? My personal advice on how to tackle this game mode would probably be you're going to want to pass heavy because every rush is going to, every rush loses points. But then again, incompletions also lose points. You're going to want to take safe, safe passes. You're going to want to set up like drag schemes or like sales schemes things that are gonna give you at least an open pass every time and you're gonna, you're gonna want to take your open pass you're not gonna really want to be risky this week although if people are playing too low on you you could probably burn them over the top people are probably gonna be pressing a lot playing really stout pass defense is key this week i'd probably be blitzing a lot this week because if you blitz a good amount of the game people are going to be forced to throw under pressure passes that could stay out of bounds under pressure passes that they're going to have to force and if they throw away that's also an incomplete pass or if they, they sack while they're throwing it that's going to be an incomplete drop so it's kind of big blitzes are going to be huge you're going to see a lot of blitzing and a lot of stout coverage you're not going to see much rushing although if people are really giving it to like a three-man front you could take the rush like if you're at the one yard line right it comes down to would you rather take the rush or the pass now, again, you might really want to take the rush. You might lose a point, but it could be a guaranteed touchdown. It all really depends. I don't really know how long this is going to be. They might be full games. It doesn't specify otherwise. But if it is full games, again, it won't be. It's not like it's going to be really a full game because most people will probably just quit after you get. If you get like one interception or fumble and then you get a two 10 yard passes and a touchdown. At that point, you're up already like, what is that? Like 12 points, 13 points. So it's going to be and if you if you get a few uh, drags that complete 10 yards on one drive specifically, if you get like five drags that you can get for 10 yards it's five 10 yard passes which is pretty common you probably get about 50 about 50 yards right there so five points and then a touchdown you could go up pretty quickly in this game mode but just as easily if you get five yards on 10 yard passes you also get five in completion on that drive you could still be at zero so you're gonna want to play stout defense i recommend doing the pinch buck blitz that's kind of still the meta definitely be disguising some blitzes on them sending the heat and it definitely some zone blitzes because man blitzes are good and all but if you versus someone who knows how to cover a man blitz you're gonna want to be able to do some zone blitz i like to throw in some uh pinch zone two and then pinch zone three either or now guys i'm gonna be dropping for you guys an updated rankings video on who i recommend taking from this pack i personally recommend saquon barkley or jalen ramsey as my top two obviously there's gonna be more guys you can't see just in this list because they have not come out yet but you can take the unreleased players so i'm pretty hyped for this guys uh I'll, my updated ranking video will be coming to you guys probably around like one o'clock to four o'clock somewhere between there
by then you shouldn't have house rules done yet anyway so go make sure to watch that video so you guys know exactly who you should be taking i go in depth on all the top players that i think you should be taking so stay tuned for that guys that is about it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys we're at 9.5k subs so Let's get to 10K as quickly as possible. Turn on that noti bell to be notified when I post brand new videos just like these that are time sensitive. Comment down below who you plan to be taking from these and what you think of 35 total wins. That's kind of a drag, but gonna have to do it for the free player. And also guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 250 likes, guys. That'd be greatly appreciated. I hope you guys can get this done as soon as possible. If I can, by tomorrow, I'll make a video going over the quickest way to beat this after I play some of it. Hopefully I can have that up for you guys in time for tomorrow so you guys can see it. You do have 72 hours, so there's still plenty of time. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.